In this video, we want to create a formula for a label that we can copy to the side and give us that result. And we want to see how to do it with a traditional formula and with a dynamic array formula. Anytime we have a formula that increments numbers, we start out with a base formula element that can give us 1, 2, 3 as we copy to the side, which is what we want to do here. Or sometimes you want the number to go 1, 2, 3 as we copy down. But in this case, we're copying to the side, so we're going to start with columns. I'm sitting in C9, so I type dollar sign C9 colon C9. That means we have an expandable range. The C column is locked, but this is not. So when I Control Enter, copy it to the side, I can go to any cell in F2. I can see now that the range is expanding as I copy to the side. C locked, but that letter is not. And columns counts. C to E is three columns. Now inside this formula, I really need to start at 0, F2. So I have to put this in parentheses, subtract 1. Control Enter, copy it to the side. Now notice the beginning part, 10, 30, 50, and so on. So we're always going to start at 10 and increment, not by 30, but by 20. So F2, if we multiply this by our increment, F4 to lock it, Control Enter, I start with 0, but I get the correct increase in increment. Now I can simply F2. Add the starting amount, plus. Oops, I got to click in F4 to lock that. Control Enter, copy it to the side. Now that looks like just what I want for the start number. Now how do we add the lead 0? F2. We put that number in the text function. The value, that's the number to format, comma. Now we need to add the custom number formatting for add a lead 0. In double quotes, one, two, three zeros. That way it takes the 10, but it adds a zero. If we were going to go past the thousands, we'd need four zeros. In double quote, close parentheses, Control Enter, copy it to the side. Now I simply have to F2, copy this whole thing, Control C, and right at the end, ampersand to join, double quote, space, dash, space, end double quotes, ampersand. Control V. Except for here, we don't need the minus 1. We don't need to start at 0. We can simply start at 10 plus 20. Control Enter. Copy it to the side. And there we have exactly what we want. Now, this is a traditional formula. We enter the formula and copy it to the side. If we have Office 365, and I'm filming this on October 18th, 2019, so right now it's only an insider. But Office 365 has an amazing function called sequence. Now, we're not going down the row, so I type a comma. Number of columns, there's the input. Comma. We're going to start at 10, comma, and the step or increment is 20. Now, when I close parentheses in Office 365, when a formula delivers more than one answer, when I hit Enter, it automatically spills. And man, that's a lot easier than what we did up here. F2, and now we use text. Comma, in double quotes, our custom number formatting, three zeros, close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, there's the first part of our label, F2. I'm simply going to copy this, Control-C, come to the end. We'll put our ampersand and dash, Control-V. And instead of starting at 10, we're going to start at 10 plus 20. Now when I hit Enter, we have our labels. If I change the input to 8, when I hit Enter, it gives me our new labels. Control Z. All right, so we saw traditional. Most of us in the world are still using this. But when Microsoft deploys Office 365 with the new Excel calculation engine, and the ability to spill answers and have functions like sequence, man, that's going to be a lot easier. Bonus formula number one. Whereas over here, we were copying to the side and use columns, when you're copying down, you have to use rows instead. Control-Enter, copy it down. Bonus formula number two. 
Well, we only have to make a slight change. Here we use rows and nothing in column when we're creating sequence, whereas over here we did the reverse. All right, if you want to learn more about dynamic array formulas, check out this video.